In problem five, we have a statically equivalent problem that we're working with. On the left, we've got a 250 and 250 uh, Newton forces that create a force couple system. Right? Vectorially, those two disappear. In other words, the result in a zero, but there's a rotational effect and a counterclockwise effect. Over here in the, the system that we're going to be getting to work with is what force do we put at point B that will create the same kind of effect. Note that B is not intended to be suggesting that it's 160 millimeters off the base. So we want to determine the magnitude and direction of the force to be applied at B and the Y coordinate of where B is located. And that turns out there's, there are a lot of little uh, nuances to get this problem all the way correct. Right? First, let's get the moment that's created by the original force couple. And that's just force times that perpendicular distance. Our force is our 250 newtons. Our perpendicular distance is 240 millimeters. Right? And so if you don't want to have big numbers there, you might just go and make this in meters. So 250 then times 0.24 is equal to 60 newton meters. And again, in a counterclockwise fashion. We need the same thing over here in our second system. And the easy thing to realize right off the bat is that we've got to have a force that is opposite of our other one and at the same angle. So there's your 30 degrees. And so since I have to have the same moment, then 60 is going to be equal to the force of 200 times some unknown perpendicular distance. All right, so that'll be 60 divided by 200. And that keep track of the units. We got Newton meters there, Newton's there. So my resulting number is 0.3 meters for our distance. But that is a perpendicular distance that that's now put it in terms of millimeters, 300 millimeters. Right? There's my 30 degrees over here. So now I can get my A to B distance is going to be equal to uh, 300 divided by cosine of 30. So we now end up with 346.4 for that distance. We have a total height of 240 plus 160 or 400. So my distance from B to the base equals 400 minus the 346.4. And that will be our 53.58 or 53.6 millimeters from the base.